Good morning, friends. It's Thursday and it's a beautiful day outside. My uh, weather app said it was 41 degrees where I live. It's probably a little warmer by you. So do try to get outside later on today as the temperature rises. Uh, make sure you have a light jacket on, but go outside, enjoy some fresh air, some sunshine, and a little exercise will be good for you. So today I'm reading The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. I love Eric Carle. Um, the illustrations are full of color and the stories are fun and we've read many of them together in the classroom. So let's read The Grouchy Ladybug. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it. Aphids are little tiny bugs that like to eat the crops or the vegetation or vegetables that farmers and gardeners like to grow for us to eat. So the aphids, um, they're sort of like a bug that ruins things. So that's why the ladybugs like to eat them to help the farmers and gardeners out and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Do you see how the um, animals and what have you are getting bigger as we're reading? At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the late grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Look at that hyena and a tiny little ladybug. What do you think's gonna happen? At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Things are getting bigger. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the, fish, the whale's fin, Hey, you, you want to fight? But it got no answer, and it flew on. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap. that it flew across the sea and across the land. You can see that picture. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where she had started from. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're here again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, said both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance under the moon. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story, friends. There are more to come. Have a wonderful day. Make sure you get outside and get some fresh air.